Happy Tuesday, everyone. Hi. Bobby and Joy. We're hoping you all had a good week. Hoping no bunny crises. Um, fingers crossed. We do. I do know a couple people that are experiencing gut stasis at the moment. So they're working on that with their bunnies. Um, have you been seeing a lot of gut stasis? I've been getting a lot of emails right now on gut stasis. There, there's a lot of shedding going on right now. We've got mm -hmm. spring shedding. Sometimes it takes a while. Uh, but what happens when that bunny grooms themselves is why they need lots of hay, mm -hmm. fresh greens, lots of water on them. Mm -hmm. But they they kind of start getting where they don't feel they're upset to their stomach. Okay. I mean, it's just right because that's what they act. They act like, yeah. you know, and it's, they can't throw up their furball like the cat. And so then they stop eating as much as they should be because mm -hmm. they don't feel good. And then, boom, all of a sudden you've got gut stasis. Yeah. And, you know. What they say, you know, nature abhors uh, a, a you know negative space, you know, type of thing, and so that fills up with gas. Yep. And you do just get this, you know, snowball effect. Yeah. So make sure your bunny's getting lots and lots of brushing. That's, That's what I was going to suggest. Yep. Brushing, brushing, and more brushing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Whether they like it or not. Yeah. And hay. And if you have to try two, or three different types of hay, and and I hate to say it, but a lot of stuff that's packaged in the store, a lot of the bunnies do not like the flavor because of the. the uh, the plastic bags, and they, it, it, has, it could be packaged up to a year. In right. a, yeah, you know, you know how long it's been around, and plastic also oxidizes, so it could kind of taste bad and smell bad to them. So they're not going to eat it. This is going to be a problem. Uh, if you're in an area where they have really, really good hay, you know, this is you know something you might be able to find some fresh hay. But I have a tendency to you know be a little concerned about stuff that you're getting at the feed stores too, because you have no idea what's on that hay. Um, you know, or you know how it's been treated, or you know what's in it. Because I know here a lot of our Timothy hay is mixed with fescue, and fescue can harbor a fungus that can cause a mare to abort if it can be that toxic for a horse. I don't want to give it to my bunny. Okay, I'm and so yeah, well, and that's just it. So, um, so I as, as many bunnies as we have here. We don't buy bales of hay from the feed store here. You know? No, and, and we I don't people, go cheap on it. No, that's one thing we right. invest. We invest in. in uh, there's a variety of places that package it. You know, in boxes specifically for rabbits, and these are places that you know they they know rabbits, and so it should be you know a decent quality hay. And then there's of course there's first cut, second cut, third cut. There is. Oat hay, Timothy hay, um, Archard hay, Brome. There's a variety of things, you know, that you can try for your bunnies. And sometimes we have people come and, you know, it's like, oh, I'm having a problem with my bunny. And other than making sure you have that six month, twice a year checkup, because if they're getting a little molar spur or something and it hurts, they're not going to eat. Especially they're not going to eat hay. Because when they're mm -hmm. eating pelleted food, they're doing this. When they're eating hay, they're doing this. And that's wearing down those back teeth. Well, if there's a little point on there and they're doing this, it's poking to the tongue of the cheek, ow, 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 they're not going to eat. Mm -hmm. So, you know, um, but if it's not that, so you've been to the vet and you know it's not a, a you know, physical issue, try some little sample things. And That's what I do. Yeah. When mine gets stinky about eating hay, I'll take a couple, you know, samples of a different variety yeah. here and he's like, mm, nibble, nibble, nibble. Okay, I'll go back to what I was eating now. Sometimes it takes that. Um, I know one um, lady who's having some problems with her been eating. You know, I put a whole bunch of things in a, in a bag, and she just put the whole thing in the bunny's, you know, pen. Well, that bunny had a real good time rooting through it and picking out what in there. Now, all of a sudden, you've got activity as well as eating some hay. Yep. Yeah. Um, so we do have one question already. How much hay should I feed each day? My two <laughs> buns will eat as much as I give them, but it seems like there should be... No a max. No. no max. 24-7. Hay should be in front of them 24-7. If, okay? if you look in there and your bunny is not eating hay continuously, then right. you got a problem. Remember, their gut has to stay in motion 24 hours a day, just like a horse. If that horse's gut stops, it's called colic. But in rabbits, they call it gastrointestinal stasis. It was like clunk. <laughs> okay, I hate that. Just, it's gut stasis. You know, it's mm -hmm. basically the gut's not moving. And then you've got a, a life and death issue. Yes. So, um, it's, it's like a mystery. A lot of people don't realize that it is gut stasis because just all of a sudden they just kind of creep down right. real low. And, and sit. But, and they'll say, well, I don't know why my bunny died. Okay. 
That's probably yes. what it died and, from. Um, there is a, a major difference between a gut slowdown and a gut stasis, mm -hmm. okay? Um, a complete stasis, stasis means stop. Mm -hmm. And if that gut has really stopped, it's because there's either a giant gas bubble in there blocking things from moving. It could be a, a blockage between the stomach and the intestine, which actually happens to be at like a 90 degree angle. So stuff can get trapped there easily. Uh, you know, it could be because there is something blocking the intestine. So it's, it's rarely a, actually a hair ball, but right. sometimes, you know, that you could have a major buildup in there, but it certainly makes them sick. And then when they stuck in, stop eating, now you could have a major gas bubbles in there, or it just, it snowballs. Yes. That, that That's effect. why we always suggest, well, for one, hay should be given 24 seven. Mm -hmm. And you should, if you ever see them not go for their food, you know you have a problem. Mm -hmm. When you go in there to feed them or give them a treat and they say, eh, right. you got to attack the problem right away because the longer you let it go, the worse it gets. Yeah. And yeah. usually if you get it right away, you can reverse it a lot of times very quickly. Really quick yeah. if you can catch it right away. So I tell people, and we've mentioned this on other you know programs we've done, uh, I like to give a treat at least you know twice a day a little thing now this doesn't have to be a sugary treat you know it can be a little piece of fruit or it could be but something you know your bunny likes and because they're like children if they turn up their nose at dessert there's a problem now you could put that food down there maybe they're not ready to eat okay but if you've got that treat for them and they turn up their nose now there's a problem so now you're you're looking at your bunny is your bunny acting normal and just turning up their nose. Mm -hmm. uh, if that's the case, sometimes, you know, and I, I know I've heard things say, well, you know, baby gas drops don't help. Um, they do. Th th well, you know, they do I could for say me. we've <laughs> seen it, you know, that we mm -hmm. think, you know, it helps. Now, um, pain medication is also a good thing. And, you know, so it's just a matter of, you know, either having something on hand right. from your veterinarian or, you know, we've used the, um, the flavored um, low dose chewable aspirin because mm -hmm. that dissolves pretty quickly and the idea is if there's you know they're, they're you know not in pain then they might start moving around more and you know even if the gas straps only helps in the, the stomach or something because i know it's supposed to only it, uh, help frothy bubbles but like i said we have just seen so many times where it seems to affect we we are we can't say because we're not watching with a scope going through that no. gut we just seems, you know, uh, that it, it helps. But anyway, back, back to the yes. bottom line. If that bunny turns up their nose, but they're acting normal, moving around, not acting like they're sick or anything, uh, so then I might, you know, try that protocol, see how they do at the next yeah. meal. I don't try to force them. If they turn up their nose again, now it's time to be talking to your veterinarian. Yep. But if that bunny is acting sick, you know, oh, uh, right away. It's, it's gone. Mean, don't wait because they may not last very long. No. They're already at a, at a point where it's really bad. So yeah. if you hear them grinding their teeth, okay. So, you know, when you're petting them and they're doing this little molar, you know, there's a little what they call tooth purr. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just a little quick, 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 quick. Okay. But when they're grinding their teeth, they're basically trying to not make noise because they don't want to attract the predators to them by screaming or making mm -hmm. you a lot of noise. And, you know, I mean, your dogs and cats don't care. They will whine and moan and stuff like that. But that bunny does. So then if you see them pressing their stomach to the, the floor, you see them they, you know, hiding their face in a corner, um, you know, hunched up, anything you, like that. You can tell when they're not acting normal. If you really know, that's why we always say, get to know your bunnies really, really well. Because like a child, you notice when the behavior is different. So Joy and I knows ours so well, I can look at mine and I can go, oh my gosh, he doesn't feel good. Mm -hmm. Boom, I'm, I'm on it. Uh, but we have one from Julie. She said, my girl was suddenly going into GI stasis yesterday morning. She was, she was feeling better after an emergency visit to Dr. B. Uh, but I was so scared. It was so sudden. I woke up to find... See, sorry, she hadn't eaten her greens, and then she wouldn't. She wasn't interested in her pellets for the first time ever. So scary. That's great. You attacked it that quick. Yes. Um, the next one is: Do you do you do any or have? Let's see. Do you know anything at all I can put on my buns fur to stop my dominating girl from biting? my boy's manes off. Okay, um, 
first. Yes. Are they fixed? <laughs> yeah, that's one. Because there, there's, a, there's an issue there. Uh, we have had some bunnies that were serious over groomers, especially with a mm -hmm. bond mate. And so you're, you're looking at three different things. One, does your bunny have enough hay? Is it looking at that bunny's mane as, you know, you know, mm -hmm. so fiber, you know, basically. Uh, so if that's the case, you may, maybe you've got to make sure your bunny has plenty of stuff, you know, to, you know, to eat rather than the, bunnies, the other bunny's mane. Two, um, make sure that you have enough chew toys and things in there for that bunny. Right. Because if it's looking for something to chew on, again, maybe it's going after the, you know, the mane. And then I had another bunny that the bond mate was, was an over-groomer, mm -hmm. and he had this little bald spot. Well, So, back to my thing for like when we do bunny proofing and we talk about the really, really, really stinky perfume. I hate to do this to a bunny. I but, know, but it works. Yes, and I, I mean the tiniest bit on just a Q-tip, and around that space, so it might be on the edge of the mane or something like that, you just lightly, you know, because again, you don't want to actually smell it. But that poor bunny that's got it, he's smelling it, but his bond man is also smelling it and staying away from it. Okay, yeah. so, so we that's always, one way. Yeah, always suggest go to like Dollar, Dollar Tree, Dollar yeah. General, and buy that Dollar Stinky Stinky perfume. I mean, if it really, if it's obnoxious to you, that's what you want. Yes, that will work. Um, but that comes to what we're doing right now. But first, I want to say, please, please like, follow, and share our page. We really need your help on this. We are so full of bunnies. We, geez, they're just everywhere at our yeah. shelter. Yeah. And we need you to share, like, and follow so other people will see our page and hopefully come to us to adopt bunnies. We need to adopt bunnies really bad right now yeah. in order to rescue more. For every bunny that gets adopted, let's us bring another bunny into our shelter. And we're at that point. We need these bunnies adopted so we can keep bringing in all these bunnies that are getting tossed out. So actually when you, you know, share it to your page, you know, just share our Facebook page mm -hmm. to your page and simply say, do you have a bunny or do you know somebody that has a bunny? Please share this with them. Mm -hmm. And because it's not just you know, our Facebook page, they can go to the National's Facebook page. But they yes. can go to, if, they're, they, if there's a local chapter near them or a local rescue that works with bunnies near them. All these things, it suddenly starts opening up some new thoughts and ideas mm -hmm. as resources for them. And, the, and that's the whole idea is we really want to provide a lot of you know, resources for them. Mm -hmm. So it's not just us. There's a lot of groups out there that work really, really hard at, at trying to help the people in their local community. Yes, and we do have a list on our Facebook. If you go to the guides, in the guides, it'll have a list of all the shelters and all the states. Um, that you can go to to find a bunny rescue in your area. Mm -hmm. So adopt, adopt, adopt. Right. Please adopt. Yes. And rabbit.org also has a location where you can go in and look for our chapters or uh, you know, groups that are you know, allied or associated with the House Rabbit Society. And so again, you can find them you know, in your own area. Yeah. I just made this thing up. I don't think I've put it on our Facebook yet, but it says... If you're thinking of breeding your bunnies, please go volunteer at a shelter so you can see exactly what happens. what's happening because of all the breeders out there breeding and getting bunnies dumped on us. So I've got a little thing I've made up that with that saying on it and a little cute picture that I'm going to post that you can also share that with because right yes. now there's just there's so much breeding going on for meat rabbits and just to sell them and there's really no money to be made in this that's why they're dumping them but that's one of the problems when it, when it becomes a local person they think oh it's a quick way of making money and it's it's not so awful so it really is uh it's a it's a very difficult situation and these animals are just going to be treated horribly because, you know, well, we know of way too many cases where that is the case. Yes. So, please. Okay. Yes. Okay. On with our show tonight. Yeah. Um, let me see. Lisa Harper, same on Thursday. Her bunny straight to the vet came home and she ate right away after three injections. Yep. Mm -hmm. Does feeding one large meal versus two smaller meals per day have an effect 
on the likelihood of those stasis. Okay. So for me, I like to split mine up. I do a, a eighth in the morning and an eighth at night. Um, I also do greens and then mine don't get treats okay. because they don't know what a treat is. So for me, when he gets his pellets and his greens, he thinks he's won the lottery. Yeah. Um, but that's my personal thing that I do. I don't know Listen, how you feed. Uh, <clears throat> treats are very, very limited. I do like my little oatmeal mixture, but they're only getting it, you know, very, very, you know, a, a little amount. Mm -hmm. um, and, and oats are a little more of a binder than a starch, which mm -hmm. is why I like them versus some of the, you know, the, the sugary treats and things like that. The sugary treats are um, a, more of a rarity, you know, a right. special thing. <coughs> and, but it's, it's still a matter of, um, you've got to make sure when you're talking about that twice a day, are you talking <coughs> about the hay is 24 seven. That is not a treat. That is not, you know, pellets as that is, their basic necessity. They've got to keep their gut in motion 24 hours a day. So you do not limit that into small meals twice a day. Nope. It's got to be there 24 seven. And the, so you want to make sure that there's always a, you know, um, and that the hay is edible. Okay. I know a lot of people uh, <clears throat> like to put their hay in their litter box. Get your hand in there. Is that peed on? Okay. Because it looks okay to you, but <coughs> maybe it's not. Okay. So Bunny's not going to eat it if he's already peed on it. Right. No. So we, we like, we do hay racks, but I, I know some bunnies that really prefer having theirs in a little bowl. Again, as long as the bunny's eating out of the bowl and not sitting in the bowl pooping in it, uh, then it's, that's fine. But the whole is you've got to make sure that the hay is there and it is edible. Okay. So. <coughs> okay. I already see Mary Moon's got a Dr. B appointment tomorrow. Mm -hmm. That's, I think, her last appointment on, mm -hmm. on an infection with her bunny. Um. I think she's jealous of her hair. Oh, for the other one. Why she's biting the yeah. hair. Yeah. And it could okay. be that if they look at the situation, if you are there and the bunny is <coughs> starting to do that, Sorry, guys. it might be because they are, um, you know, mounting the other bunny or they're doing something because they're trying to get your attention. They're trying to get the other bunny away or, or because they think they're being fed and they want their dominant and they want food first. So, yeah, if you're... Wait, you, if you want to do something is, if you want to record it when it's happening... Mm, that's a good idea. And record it a couple different times, send it to us mm -hmm. on Facebook and on Facebook Messenger, and we'll watch it and try to help you see what's going on and what's happening. Right. And that way we can help you better see what the problem is. Right. I had so one person... An thought that the bunny was being aggressive to them and what it was really doing was trying to protect its bun mate. Oh. Yeah, so um, Archie, you know, thought that, uh, you know, was, we had one person who was putting food in there, I thought the bunny was being aggressive to the other bunny and because she lunged, at, the bunny lunged at the food. Well, it wasn't that, it was lunging at her hand because she didn't want that person again mm -hmm. near her bun mate. So the, the interpretation of their behaviors is not always correct, okay? So, again, yeah, that's a, an excellent mm -hmm. idea. Send, send us a video. We'd be happy to look at it. And that's what we're here for. Remember, we're here to help you and your bunny. So we have no problem doing this. So right. send us your videos. So you Ready? Yes, because okay. we need to get on with the, the topic yes. that we're supposed to be doing. Okay. I'm going to have Bobby get some, some stuff here, but I'm going to show you a few things that um, <clears throat> we talked about. Uh, physical and mental stimulation and things that, that you can do for your bunnies you know, at home. So I'm going to start off, because we've talked about this, I can't tell you how many times, <clears throat> plain cardboard box. Okay, so here's the box, and but this is a really, really sturdy box. So that bunny can sit up there, they can hide inside it, you know, they can dig on it, they can chew on it, it gets messy, you pitch it and get a cardboard, you know, another box. Notice I put two holes in there. Mm -hmm. Now, this doesn't have to be a huge hole, because now you're encouraging the bunny, if they want, to open up a larger hole. Yep. But they do not like a trap. So it needs to be, on this particular case, it's funny, this box already had one side open, which is nice. You could do a hole in the top, because sometimes like going down that tunnel, mm -hmm. they love you know, having something like that. It's the idea of having at least two places. Ink is not an issue because it's like soy-based because mm -hmm. of kids. You can't have the lead-based inks anymore. But if you want to wrap that box over there, okay. We're going to be getting up quite a bit on this Yeah, episode. sorry, we're going to have to you know, just reach everything. Okay. This is a shiny box, I don't know if you can tell it, but just because you have this shine there. Okay, 
So, uh, our magazine paper, the shine comes from clay. Do not give them a shiny box or magazine paper or anything like that to chew on. You could end up killing your bunny. Okay? It's that simple. If you, you know, for uh, another amusement thing, take these boxes, get several of them, and like put one hole here, another hole. Make, you know, a whole list of tunnels where you can have them going through. You can have different size boxes. Now they can end up jumping from this box to the next box, and then down to the next box. All of these things that they can do, that you can do that. And you could take and maybe, you know, uh, foraging, okay, put just a couple, you know, instead of doing your food in a, in a dish, <coughs> put two pellets in this box and two pellets in this box and two pellets. Now the bunny's got to be moving around, put a couple on top, okay. If you don't like messing around with mixing or making your own things, okay, there are items out there and for I'm purchase. Gonna say this right for purchase, okay. This is an accordion one. It, it makes this really nice tunnel. So, you know, it, and it folds up. You know, that type and of thing. that's really good to use, like, behind your couch. Oh, yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. If you got a bunny that runs behind your right. furniture, that's really good to use. Or... Another thing for behind your couch or just a little food. Okay. We, okay. This is a, simply a concrete form. Uh, it's about uh, four foot long mm -hmm. and comes in different sizes. They I've love got one them. in here. Okay. It takes them forever and to eat it the does. inside. Uh, but they can run through that. You could also put a hole in the top if you want for them to pop out. I do. I put yeah. like several holes and then oh, they just so they pop in through. and out. You can uh, take two of them together and cut them for the length of your couch. So now the bunny can run through, but they can't get uh, under right. your couch. Right. This is really good for bunny yeah. proofing for that reason. Yeah. And, you know, Archie's got an electric cord behind your couch. Mm -hmm. uh, there are, you know, cardboard cottages and castles and all kinds of stuff you know, out there that you can buy from different places so that you don't have to, have to make your own. Just a matter of what you feel like doing. Okay? Yep. You can end up making a, you know, really nice box, you know. So this one's got uh, some toys. Again, open side sided. We actually put toxic safe uh, or you know, pet safe paint on the top so it can be washed. Okay. Uh, it's finding items that you can use. Somebody you have to get really creative. Oh, yes. I use cylinders, okay, and then they cut the holes in them for us. So one of the things we end up doing now, the bunny has again multiple holes. You would get a ceramic tile to put on top of it, uh, or just a cloth and cover over it. Now the bunny's got like a cave to go in and out of. So there's, you know, ones <laughs> like that. Uh, so, yeah. Yes. So and I am big in, I am big in making things and recycling and to do DIY stuff for bunnies. So for me, I just made up a couple quick ones. Cardboard. They love cardboard. So this is just a toilet paper roll. And my grandkids make these, you know, help me make these, um, cause they chew, you know, they chew the sides of them. You can stuff some hay in there, whatever. This was made out of an Amazon package that came. They made a little flower out of it. That's really easy. And that's twine that's also edible, okay? So this is when somebody, uh, actually a school, had good kids had done stuff for us. So they took cardboard pieces, cut them out like little castles, okay? The twine is actually one well, hole punch, and it put it together, and then they put a little couple of things on there. But look at, I mean, it folds up. So, you know, that's great. Just, yeah. So this one is just a small little box. My grandkids attach this on because you can put hay in it on the side, so they can be playing, eating hay. They put a little window, mind you. They, they actually they like to do you know things like that. This one. Oh, good one. They, well, again two entrances and exits. They poked holes in packaging paper and stuffed all on the top. Notice that the bunny can get, yeah, that's it. They can go in here and they can pull through and chew. Yes. It's a bunny paradise. And then what we do with these is it, put it up here like that, but as an example is we take two of them, stuff it full of hay, and then attach it to the side of the cardboard box and then we just kind of, you little, know, little do holes. and pull the hay out, and then they just come up to this. They eat it. They eat the hay. They really work for it. It keeps them really busy. I love that one. Um, the other stuff is just stuff from Amazon in the boxes. The little 
things like this. They made a little thing for them to hang up and they can chew and eat that. Um, this is just the cardboard from a refrigerator. They rolled it up. They love this. Um, they eat it, shred it. Here's another one. Here's just a little cylinder thing. They cut up like the toilet paper rolls. Um, little cardboard squares. They took this, put hay in it. I mean, bunnies love it. Here's, Here's another. The cardboard packing. Oh! You always throw it just in there all by itself. Now, notice Bobby used it also for poking through different places. Mm -hmm. You can, can run around the roof through this. And yeah. you can save it with all your packages you get in the mail, or Dollar Tree sells it in a roll like wrapping paper for a dollar. One dollar. Oh, wow. You yeah. can't beat right. that. Yeah. Um, this, I just want to show them this other one. This one's a good one. They got really creative because, like I said, recycling. And if this is something the kids can do. Which is somewhere... That's what keeps them yes. busy at my house. Right. Because they love rescuing with grandma, oh, and they yeah. know how important this is, and they love making stuff for the bunnies. So they made this little thing. It's I don't really know what they intended You could hide a treat in there, or you could put more hay in um, there. But they use, again, recyclable things. They stuck in there that they can pull out, chew. You can oh, stuff it with hay. They made another flower on the other side of it. Is it where they can pull it down. Mm -hmm. You could hide some stuff behind here, even. And again, Listen. like Joy said, they're sturdy enough that they can get on, hide in, get on. Exercise. The other thing is... These are just from ribbon. Again, it's just the mat, but you can make things out of them. Yeah. You can string them together, put stuff in between. I told my curing kids they couldn't make anything because I wanted to show you right. what it was. The yeah. other thing is... Oh, careful though. This has got shiny pink stuff. Well, it can't be the shiny right. stuff. Right, yeah. But we put hay in here. Yeah. And they can eat it. Yeah. But there is ones that aren't shiny. Yeah. This is just the only one I had tonight. To yeah. Buy. So we just wanted to make, make sure you understand about the shiny and, stuff. Oh, paper sacks. Oh, grocery paper. The, yeah, the paper grocery bags. Love them. Not only can you, you know, cut them up like you could use squares like along here and stuff like this, but you can even just put the grocery bag down. And have you ever seen a cat going inside? Yes. The bunnies do too. What I do is I take it and I stick it in a box. And then I make it to where it stays open. Yeah. And they like that crunchy noise yeah. when they go in. So they hear the crunch and then they'll and start people, chewing. Yeah, and, chewing. Yeah. Uh, but <clears throat> another thing I wanted to show you what I do is you can, I cut this in half. And then I take it and fold it together. Stuff it full of a treat hay and I tie it with a twine. Yeah, like oat hay or something. And I call them the little hay bombs because they start chewing it and then it just kind of poof and pops open. Right. And you know, of course, these are just, you know, from the containers yeah. you know, that you, they put drinks in. You can do so much. A lot of people just throw them in like this. Right. Um, I like to really give my bunny something to do. That's why, you know, I'll put it like this and put hay in it or whatever and boom. And it doesn't is, have to be yes. expensive. No. So this is already recycled paper, but now your bunny can take some, a recycled item and have fun with it, and then you can put it in your recycle bin again. Yes. You know, so there's so many things. You know, bunnies are one of the best pets for doing recycling. You know. and, and baby toys. And baby, you want to grab that over there? Yeah. <laughs> My grandkids yes. love to bring them um, the baby toys. Mine, mine likes the baby keys. I had uh, one right, bunny. Right, we got the love keys. I had one bunny, which was my baby. Yeah. He actually would carry his baby keys around with him. Yeah, I've, I've seen them. You know, he loved so, them. Yeah, you know, and there's you can take these teething rings, you know, and make you know keys out of them basically. But they love you know. So this is you know it's noisy. It's making. noisy. They, yeah. I want to tell people they think because it's we got a you know a bunny shelter that's kind of quiet here. Yeah, be here at night when they're going. So a baby rattle, you know, you know the teething rings, those rattle things, um, you know. Sneakies, plastic, not metal. They love these things. They run we around actually, with them. And, we we would have videos. to look. We have videos yes. of the bunnies just choo choo throwing and, and having a good time with it. I had one pair that it was a, a bond pair of brothers. They'd run up. They, each one would grab 
and then let go. And they'd run up and grab and let go. So, you know, and one was running around trying, taunting his, his other siblings with it, and they're trying to chase the end of it. I was, I mean, it was hysterical watching him. Um, you know, you're a cat twice, you're a baby twice, this is just a wiffle ball. Now, hard plastic, because even on these, there's places where you could see where the bunnies have tried to chew, mm -hmm. and you don't want them getting anything, you know, down in their system that could end up puncturing an intestine or, right. you know, killing them. So you want really hard plastic, plus, as you know, they have to, they should have water bowls, not water bottles, mm -hmm. okay? And, uh, you know, at least not as their sole source of water. So one of the things that they often try to do is that plink, they use the water bowl as a basketball net. You want something to pick up, shake oh, off, and yeah. throw back in there, okay? Yeah. Um, one other thing is I take a phone book, and my oldest son, if he was here, would tell you how he hated when I gave the bunny that was next to his room yes. a phone book because... I would rip off the Find front the and the here. back because it's shiny, and I would get a enclosed box and make two circles. And Windows, I, not doors, because they like the a tunnel and they like to dig out. And I I'd shove that in there, and he, every night he'd go in there one page at a time. Rip, 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 <laughs> and it makes my, noise. And my son's like, Mom, please, all I hear is him ripping one paper yeah. at a time. But it was great because then when I go to clean it out, yes. I just put my hand in there, pull out the phone book, take it over the trash, pull all the, the you know, stuff. The, the phone book yeah. stuff out now, that he's chewed, and then stick the phone yeah. book back in. It's it it's a in. mess, but the bunnies have a best time. I had one bunny that um, I had given her, I just tore off a chunk of the, the phone book, put it in there, and uh, I left it with her so overnight. I came back the next the morning, and we couldn't even see the bunny. The whole cage was full of ripped off paper, and you could just see this, the paper moving around, because she's bouncing around inside through the paper, and you can still hear, rip, rip, rip. Yeah. They love it. I have this thing where I tell everyone, a busy bunny is a good bunny. Mm -hmm. So the more stuff you have for it to do, and the more activities you have for it to do, the better the bunny's going to be for you because it's not bored. Right. Um, if you ever come to my house, <clears throat> my house is pet friendly, not people friendly, because in the hallway I have the accordion thing and boxes at each end because when my bunny comes out of the room, it goes through a box, around the corner, through a box, the tunnel mm -hmm. through another box pops in my living room where I have half of it with a piece of carpeting because he yeah. can't walk on a regular floor. And I have four boxes in there for him to go through. And I always change and move and, and he loves to explore it because he knows right. he's going to get something different every time. I may move boxes from his room into my living room or the hallway or That's whatever. Good. He loves it. Or I hide stuff, like Joy said. Yes. I'll take a baby carrot, which I have to hide from my dogs, but I'll hide it <clears throat> in one of those boxes. And he, searching? he does, because he knows he's going to get one. So when he comes out, he's searching and looking and looking to try to find it. Yeah. I mean, you just get creative. They love it. Yep. You know, they like a little bit of oats. Scatter them inside a box. Mm -hmm. You don't want to sit all over your house, but... Then again, they can go in a little piece at a time and pick that up, and that, that that's foraging for them. They they really really do you know love that stuff. Yep. Um, you can get some uh, botanical you know pieces, you know, um, and you know these are dried flowers and mm -hmm. rose you know rose hips and things like that. And again, you can scatter them around, and so that they if they forage for that. Mm -hmm. You can mix it in their hay. Uh, it's another great way of making the hay. That I was just gonna it. say. Go ahead. Yeah. <clears throat> I did that with my hay. Yeah. I just put a sprinkle in to see what he would do. Mm -hmm. That also helped him eat hay. I think he does it just to be stubborn because he's spoiled rotten. Uh, because yeah. at your house, really? Yeah. yeah. Okay. That yeah. Sense. Spoiled, spoiled. Um, because he knows he's just going to get more when he doesn't eat his hay. Because I, he's fine. He doesn't have any yeah. issues. He just is spoiled rotten. Right. Now, having said that, also, if you put your hay in there, you know. Turn it up, okay, you know, if it's, if it's <clears> packed <throat> really too tight. Now, it can be packed pretty tightly, but not so tightly that they can't get stuff out. Right. And the other thing is that uh, refresh it. You can always put that hay back in the box 
and get more yeah, out put that's fresh what I in have it. To do. Because sometimes they they depend a lot on their noses, far more than on their eyes. And if you know, if it, if it smells smells good and fresh, fresh, you're gonna eat it. Well, by taking some of the you know the day hey this two days old, put it back in the box. Now it gets mm -hmm. some of that smell on there. Or again, like you did, the botanicals, they smell that, and you mix it in there as you're putting the hay in there, and now they are, again, they're rooting through there. And I also take little cardboard boxes, like you've seen on here, and I fill with hay, and I'll put it in sporadic places for him. And then you'll just see him munching on hay on the side of a cardboard box in the living room. Yeah. You know, and that also helps him. Right. Yeah. Well, he just yeah. likes it. Now, you know, talking about, you know, those boxes like that, instead of the, because... Uh, since a lot of the Kleenex boxes are shiny, shoe boxes. I do shoe boxes. The shoe boxes work right, and I know the top comes off, but you can, again, take a little piece of twine and tie down both sides of it and cut a little, you know, um, opening in the top. And again, you still put hay in there. Or you can take, you know, a binder clip, or that's a binder clip, but um, I think there's like these ring clips or mm -hmm. something. You can put it on there. That like way a you key can, ring clip. Yeah, right. And that way, well, one's of those that, that clip together, they click together, you know. Oh, so I know. So that, that type mm -hmm. of circle, it's like a binder clip or yep. something. Anyway, uh, that way you can open it up, open up the box, put more hay in there, you know, click it up again. Mm -hmm. Again, once the bunny's got it too chewed up or anything messy, you pitch it, you know, get another one. Uh, you know, I take the shoe boxes. Yeah. Because my daughter buys a lot of shoes. <laughs> okay. Um, Save those boxes. But I'll take it again, and I will attach it to the side of a box. Otherwise, he's yeah, tossing right, everything. Right. And then I'll take all his little toys yeah. or whatever, his little chew stuff, and I'll put in there. So he'll walk over to the box, empty it, and then start chewing the box. Yeah. And then I throw it back in. He throws everything back out. It's a toy box, and they're like the little kids. They empty the toy box, mm -hmm. but it does. It gives them something to do, and sometimes they like to root through and find their favorite toy. So you just so many things that that you can do to to keep them active. <clears throat> yes, and while Joy's talking, I want to try to find something I posted on Facebook a little bit ago because it made me feel so good. It's about <clears throat> you love the pet for who it is, not who you want them to be. Yes. That's true. You know, you get, you have what you have, and you have to deal with what right. you got. And remember, you want to be loved for yourself. Mm -hmm. You don't want to be loved because you look a specific way, or you're mm -hmm. this specific, you know, type of person. Oh, I want to be your best friend because you're a lawyer and I can get mm -hmm. free advice. No, you want to be liked for yourself. Yes. You know? And we're, we're all different. So are the bunnies. Yes. That's something I always tell my grandchildren because I have ones that are... Right. Uh, well, one, I have different. one that's eight, and he's very small. And then I have one that's a year younger than him that's much like taller. this yeah. much taller than him. And I tell him, God made all of us different because the world would be so boring if we all looked and act the same way. Right. And we, we need to do different things. People need to be you know, interested in different things. The bunnies can be interested in different things. Seriously. One bunny likes this. Um, and I'll show you, and before you go on to that real quick, I want to mention... Uh, there are these toys out there. Uh, they're meant for dogs to, to find treats and be able to open oh, up. Yes. The bunnies figure those things out twice as fast as the dogs. And that's a <laughs> great way, again, to put their pieces of pellets yes. in there and let them forage. We have one on our Facebook we do. page yeah. that's a video of it. Mm -hmm. But we have a volunteer, Gabby. Her bunny, it, I mean, figures it out in so fast. seconds. No. It is so awesome. She sends me videos yes. of it. I love so, it. So, what you got? Okay, this lady posted this, and I'm taking it from her. She said, um, she posted a little picture of her little Dutch bunny sitting in a chair by a window, and she put, our little antisocial Dutch girl. We always joke that she despises us, but we really don't care. We are happy to watch her living her best life after being bought at a pet shop, then surrendered by the buyers because she was so skittish um and then they're suddenly allergic so they had a dumper mm -hmm, yeah she goes who knows what else this poor girl has gone through so for sure we won't she won't tell us she's very she doesn't give them much but she said that's okay she said this morning i saw her climbing to the windowsill watching oh she lapped up some rain from by the window and that had come overnight. 
She has a full bowl of water all the time, but isn't the rain from heaven so much better? She says, love your rabbit for who they are, not for who you want them to be. They are just here. They're not just here for your amusement. Remember, they need a happy life too. So love them for who they are. Yes. And And they're not here for our amusement. So I don't know if you can see. They're their own creatures. But, oh no. No, for some reason my phone ain't going to do it, but I'll try to let you see. Or the bunny by the window. Yes. It's so cute how she got it. But. Her bunny is antisocial. They've got to work for what they get from her. But she says, doesn't matter for for them. They just they love her for who she is. Yeah. I actually read that and it just brought tears to my eyes. I hope, I wish everybody did that. Yeah, there's so many out there that you know that need attention. And you know, one of the things that uh, sometimes people will do if they've got a bunny that is not a people bunny, um, and and think about it, not all people are people people. No. You know, <laughs> so we can have these social Everyone people. is the uh, But, you know, think about, you know, a bond mate for that bunny that maybe is a people bunny. Mm-hmm. And that way, the your bunny, the non-people bunny, mm-hmm. has a friend. Mm-hmm. And also ends up learning that the people aren't so bad. Yeah. But, you know, yeah. at the same time, then you have another bunny that's a little more, you know, mm-hmm. readily to, you know, available for petting and interaction. And again, that you know, the, that other bunny learns that you're not awful because they see what happens with that other bunny. And a lot of times, you see them change. Sometimes, yeah, it may not be a drastic change, no. but it might be. Ooh, when can I have my pet petted yeah. too? You know, so just these little things. You know, they'll take a little treat for you. They might even run away. But I have a dog like, that it. he only wants a couple pets, and then yeah, that's it. That's He's it. done. Right. Just a couple. Yes. He was a puppy mill rescue yeah. of mine. Yeah. Um, he's 15, my Winston, yeah. Yeah. just a couple, and that's how the puppies are. I mean, oh, yeah. they're all the same, how I am. I'm. They, they can mm-hmm. be. I, mm-hmm. you know, my, my old cat, that, you know, the one that lived to be 26, mm-hmm. you, know, uh, he, you know, he, when he wanted attention, okay, mm-hmm. there were times when he would literally leap in the air in front of my face. If I didn't catch him, I mean, he was mm-hmm. leaping up, but he was literally leaping up, never put a claw out or anything, mm-hmm. and, you know, and I catch him. And you go, okay, I'm going to let attention for a little bit. Heaven forbid if I kissed him. Hmm? Oh, people cooties. Oh, no, 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 people kisses. Okay. So there's there's limits to what some of them like. Some of them just want a little bit of nose petting. You know, some will let you get your whole body massages. You know, mm-hmm. they're all different. Find out what your bunny likes. You know, interact with them. Um, be with them. Yeah. I tell you, you, I always tell all our new adopters, the more you put in, to your bunny the more you get out so the more effort you put in to making them more comfortable and friendly and loved the more you're going to get out of it and it's the same thing with any relationship yeah okay yeah all right okay don't forget like follow share our page please please tell us where you're watching us from because joey and i like to see that after we get done and I will post pictures of some more DIY toys um, that I've made over the years so you guys can get some ideas. Um, also, I always say go to Pinterest and put DIY bunny toys in. Oh, my gosh. So many come up. Right. Ideas. So how about you guys do some of this, get some pictures together, and next time we're on, you can show Joy and I the pictures of yes. the stuff that you did for your bunny. We love, love to, to see, see it. it. Okay. Joy right. and I are busy tonight, so we got to let you go, and we will see you next time. All right. Bye-bye. Bye.